substantial part of the imagination, energy, and genius of the United States is being devoted to the scientific exploration of our universe. space. To explore his world, man has always risked the unknown. Because it is unknown, and man's nature is to know. Project Mercury is a beginning for man in space. Thirty-two candidates reported to the Lovelace Clinic in Albuquerque, New Mexico for an exhaustive series of physical examinations. These tests were divided between those given under normal clinical procedures and a series used for the first time in Project Mercury. A series of dynamic tests designed to measure the candidate's abilities during physical stress. We are listening to his heart. When the astronaut is orbiting in space, the measure of his heart's contraction and expansion will be telemetered to the Mercury tracking stations. Seven men emerged from this competitive purgatory as the Project Mercury astronauts. At McDonnell Aircraft, they saw a model of the space capsule they would ride into orbit. These officers were detailed by their services to report to the NASA at Langley Field, Virginia. Here, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Space Task Group under the direction of Robert Gilruth had organized a training program for the astronauts. They were excellent students and they had a realistic and tough-minded approach to Project Mercury. They had to know all the answers. Here, they discussed the flight tests. In the flight program, they would ride both the Redstone and the Atlas boosters. But a man would not ride either booster until the full test program was a success. The possibility that trouble may develop with the Atlas or the Redstone during the countdown or during the takeoff is looked squarely in the eye by the astronauts and the engineers behind Project Mercury. This booster was not a Mercury vehicle, but imagine the worst possible situation for the astronaut, that his capsule is now mounted on top of this Atlas. The escape rocket takes the capsule away from the booster. So before the Earth turns many hundred times, another booster will rest on the pad of the Cape. And one of the astronauts will ride here on the shoulders of Atlas. The experiments and training will go on to put man into orbit. These are the astronauts. United States Project Mercury. Mercury. 